All right, today I'm going to talk about Lando plus Mailhog. Mailhog is one of my favorite services because it's so useful. So let's take a look at that. I like to call your attention to the docs as always because the docs are the things that can help you get along your way. So of course we have docs.devwoodlando.io and that's here. And what we're going to look at today is the services section. And in particular, uh, there's quite a number of services available here, but we're going to look at uh, Mailhog. And Mailhog is great. It's an open source project and it captures mail that is sent from an application. So if you're developing an application that sends mail, this is so very useful to have. And I love Mailhog. So let's check that out. Um, so what you have to do is add the Mailhog service and that's pretty simple. So what we're gonna do here, I've got a Drupal 7 app spun up and I'm just gonna add the Mailhog service. So services. Uh, this is of course just following along with the docs. So right here, services, and then you're gonna give it a name. We're gonna call it Mailhog. You don't have to call it that, but you can uh, make sense to me to call it Mailhog. And then we're gonna give it a type, and the type is gonna be uh, Mailhog. Great. That should match up with the docs. Service name, the type of service, which is Mailhog. Mailhog as opposed to like Apache or Nginx or something like that. And then we have this hog from key to tell it where to listen for the mail. So in that case, in this case for a Drupal 7 app, that's gonna be the app server. Nice and simple. So this is, uh, and now we're just going to give a nice uh, proxy to this so that we can uh, have a URL to visit to visit our Mailhog dashboard. So proxy. And that is going to be mail.lando mailhog that site. So that's just a mail subdomain of uh, the uh, URL for this application. So I've already installed this. So if we just Lando rebuild, we'll see that we'll get some uh, nice URLs for, for that application, which will include the application URL and an additional service container for uh, Mailhog, uh, which will have this proxy URL pointing to it. Oops, did I get that proxy wrong? I did because I didn't tell it the uh, the service that I want to give a URL to. So I'm going to kill that. I'm going to do service Mailhog. proxy to the Mailhog service. So thank goodness for the docs, I'm getting it all wrong for you. And that should work a lot better. So let's check that out. Now we can do our rebuild and that should get us in better shape. So this example I'm doing on uh, Drupal 7, but Mailhog doesn't care what the application is that's sending mail. So here I've spun up a, a uh, WordPress site so I'm using the recipe WordPress and PHP stuff. I've already got these proxy keys set up here. Um, so you can see the app that's here. And here's the proxy URL for our Mailhog service. And you can see I've already sent some mail, but this is completely, you know, you can blow this away. And uh, just get have our app send some mail. So 
So one thing I know that sends mail in WordPress and Drupal is to create a new user. So on your user dashboard here, just add a new one. And we got here, send new mail to the user. Add the new user. Come over here to your MailHog dashboard and you see that it sent out the emails. So you can see what the emails are gonna send out if you're doing any customization on that. That's so great so you don't have to accidentally send mail to customers. So that works on WordPress, Laravel, anything. So you can see after the rebuild, we've got the app URLs as expected, and now we have some MailHog URLs here so we can monitor our mail dashboard as well. So head over to the Drupal site here. So just like WordPress, but just proof of concept, show you that MailHog doesn't care if it's Drupal or WordPress. It can capture a mail just the same. So I'm gonna log in for this site. Don't know. Grab one from Drush. Here we go. And just like WordPress, when we create a new user, that should generate mail. And we'll see what happens there. So I'll open up my MailHog dashboard for the Drupal site. Of course, they're different. They're in independent con containers from the WordPress site and the Drupal site. Go ahead and add a user here. And then we're going to say notify to generate the email. And you see it coming in here in the MailHog service. Great, so very simple. You can add that to any application that you like. Add the proxy, tell it where the, the URL you want to give it. I typically say mail dot. And then add the MailHog service and start your app. And now you can protect and see what kind of emails your application is going to send out. Hope you enjoyed that. Make sure to visit our doc site and visit us on Slack if you need any help.